Hello and a very warm welcome to this Hive 2 tutorial. In this sixth episode of this tutorial series I talk about the modulation bar, the modulation matrix and the XY pads. But let's get started. So, let's initialize uh, the Hive 2 and go back to the area where we want to work on. So normally you see the Hive 2 like this and in this tutorial I talk about um, and this modulation bar down here, then the modulation matrix A and B and the XY pads, XY pads here and here for example okay so um let's get started with this modulation bar and i increase the size a little bit so you can see it far better so here we have a pitch wheel and the pitch wheel is something you know from the side of your controller, on the right, normally on the left side of your controller, this is where you pitch up and down this um, your notes. Like if you, and um, this is the modulation you can get from this pitch wheel. Then you have the mod wheel. This is this wheel, what you have normally on your um, controller. Then you have the pressure, and the pressure is something like you um, press down a key, and um, when you uh, give it more uh, more pressure on the key afterwards, you can change um, with this modulation some other parameters you, you define. Then with pressure, this is normally called aftertouch, and there are two uh, kinds of them. The one is the channel aftertouch, that is when you press down the key, every every other key gets um, gets a new parameter or the modulation for that, and if it's just uh, note pressure or note after touch um, only this note that where you press down the key even more than normal um, this gets a parameter modulation then you have velocity velocity is how hard you um, smash the keys and then you have key follow key follow is um, a modulation where, where uh, what follows the pitch of your keys normally or often it is used with filters so um, the filter follows the pitch of the key you press. Then you have a gate and the gate is normally a key press where you can modulate something when the key is pressed or when the gate is incoming. Control A and B are uh, formerly known as uh, breath and express and they, they were changed in the past and um, they uh, listen to MIDI CC uh, 2 and MIDI, MIDI CC 11. Then you have an alternate uh, alternate uh, modulation. This just um, outputs like uh, yes or no, a one and zero. For example, if you cut off 
and modulate this cutoff. So, and every key press it changes between one side and the other side of the modulation. Then you have a random, and a random is every every time you press a key. Um, remove modulation. Right click every time you press a key. It modulates between this area you defined, you defined somewhere in between. Here you see the different values. Right click, remove modulation. Constant is where you can uh, use a constant, for example, if you use here um, a pulse, there you see these like uh, in between steps, and you, now you can use constant here to just uh, move the pulse width or the pulse width. So smaller so you can see everything I'm doing so you can modify the pulse width here for example station right click and there is a mod noise where you can put in here um, for example noise and the cutoff is modulated by the noise so it's a little bit Glitchy. Like that, like a broken, I don't know, a <laughs> broken tube or something. So, right click, remove modulation like this. So, these are the 12 uh, different modulation uh, possibilities in this modulation bar. And uh, you can just take it, uh, put it somewhere on, on a control or on a parameter and modulate this parameter. So if you do that, for example, the, let's take the mod wheel on the cutoff and if you modulate this, then you see the matrix gets opened. And um, this matrix is um, divided in matrix R and matrix A and matrix B. And uh, each matrix has uh, units, six units. You see here, unit one, two, three, four, five, six. And matrix B has seven, eight, nine, and 11, and 12. Every unit you can switch off. And every unit has uh, this uh, little triangle where you can left click on it. And there you see some options you already know from some other places of Hive like where um, this triangle is. So you can, for example, copy all um, parameters you configured here. You can save the mod matrix one um, settings in here, like in a set. You can show, uh, you can see all your presets you have saved. And these are the presets that are saved. Or for example, just press init and then there is nothing in it. Yeah, that's called, no, it's called because of initialization. So there are some presets in here. You can just uh, click on them and choose them or just uh, do your own. So every, every unit, um, as I said, you can switch on and off, so you can switch on off the, all the modulations. Every unit has two sources and two targets. So if you left click on here, you can choose a source, what is modulating something. Or for example, the LFO, you just take it and put it on here. And that's the same, like choosing it from this, this list. So, and the, um, the destination or the target, you click right on this. Then, for example, you choose the filter one and, for example, the cutoff. Because the cutoff, you um, can easy, very easily. So, and you can put, for example, the um the visualization on the scope 
So now I put the cutoff on really zero and nothing is modulated. I can modulate it here. And you see down in the uh, modulation matrix on the unit one, you see how I modulate it. So I can modulate it here or I can modulate it here. Okay, and I don't hear something because it's... So this modulation is modulated by this triangle LFO. Put this triangle on, for example, as well. Like here, the LFO, you see that? I could choose the amount or the, the speed of the LFO or the amount here, how much it is modulated. Like this, for example. There's a little bit um, a difference if you put the modulation from the ground or from the middle here, for example. So there's always a little bit different in the sound. So down below every um, target, you have some more options. This is the curve. And the, with the curve, you have some options. Very compressed, compressed, li non or linear, expanded or very expanded. And if you look on the mod matrix here, should be a bigger. Oh, okay. And I put the cutoff here, so you see the cutoff. So this cutoff is now modulated with the LFO, so it's still the same. With the curve, you can choose that this will be a little bit curved, like in this way, um, a little bit convex with the very compressed. And this goes all to very expanded, and then the curve looks like this. So if I choose with the mouse wheel, like another option, it goes back to the little bit more convex version of the triangle, or with the expanded, like this. Then there is something, let's put that back on a nun. Then there is the rectify, and with the rectify you can um, you can configure how how the modulation is done. So none, it's the same like the um, LFO. If you put like half wave, you see it's only in the positive, and you see it in this little icon. Everything that's below zero is put on zero. So the next one is half wave minus. This is the opposite way. Maybe I put middle. That, for example. So we see everything is just in the negative and everything that goes above in the positive area it gets leveled on the um, on zero so next one is a full wave you see the full wave in the positive area next wave full wave in the negative area you always see that nicely on that icon so from negative goes to positive and be before it goes far to positive it just it's just rectified so and the unipolarize is like this if you compare this to, for example, none. It's like that. So you have different options to just choose how this modula modulation is working. So with the quantize, it's a little bit special. I don't use the um, cutoff here. I uh, unassign, right click. I just use, for example, the um, semitones. 
Oops. So I modulate the semitones on here. And with a quantize, normally, if I use that modulation, it's just pitched up and down like a, like a glide. So, and the quantize is just, I could put some do not glide seamlessly, just use integer variables, and then you'll you hear like that. A bit slower. Now you see it, it's doing some steps. I um, decrease the speed of this LFO. You see and hear the steps more clearly. And then there are more steps, like uh, every second step. Every third step. Fourth step, for example. Or something like perfect fifth. Then uh, some uh, special things like it goes to up an octave, overtone series. It's nice <laughs> graphics here. Or for example, uh, minor scale. Or for example, major scale. Or some major chords, or major series, or fifth and octaves. So you have different ways of um, uh, changing some parameters. Mostly, um, this is really um, great on so like semitones, or for example, on the sub. Um, oscillator here on the tune or some other things that you want to modulate in a more stepped way instead of a seamless um, modulation. Take that to none maybe and then you have um, sample and hold so uh, you could sample and hold from other modulation sources like for example the LFO2 Let's take that. The LFO2 is very slow, so maybe just increase the speed a little bit. It's the LFO2. Example, maybe I use the cutoff again because it's really more visible. So, this is the sample and hold with different sources. And this is the slew limiter, and maybe you see that the LFO1 and the mod matrix, let's deactivate LFO2 here, so you see it more clearly, and the same, and if I use the slew limiter, it's a little bit like a softener. See this little bit softened here on the edges. Maybe I use, maybe I don't know, square. More obvious. So this is softener, like here the slope button. This is the slew limiter. This is the original, so you have none. And there's a little bit of softening going on on the edges more smoothing like that and you see it's like sometimes a little bit um, 
concave and here's a little bit convex and there's a very slow setting so in this you have on this side with convex and here concave so it's a little bit softened here so and and every of the those um, matrix units have all the same possibilities so matrix a has as i said six of those Ma matrix b has as well six of those and you can deactivate or use them all uh, like you want and as i said um, you have um, two um, sources and um, those sources are modulating each other so if you choose here like lfo2 um, they are uh, they are working with each other other or against each other <laughs> like you would and you can modulate two targets or two destinations with so those are the matrix a and and b series let me look if i forgot something no i think that's it from the matrix matrices matrices and then there are the x y pads the x y pads are looking nearly the same or similar to the um, matrix modulation units because they are modulating as well and with the um, x y pads you have um, four of them and when you click on one of them you see this uh, little x y pad then you have uh, like a title for the x axis and a title for the uh, y axis and um, in the hive itself you see above here there's as well an x y and if you click on that you see uh, again this x y pad and here you have different um, different views and different functions for example if you click here uh, with the right mouse button you can auto assign all unused or unassign all if i click on unassign all you see down here as well there's nothing assigned anymore if i click on auto assign all, all unused everything that is not used and where's where um, specific um, modulation could be a valid choice there's uh, like a pre-selection of um, modulations on there um, this functions um, or this this options you find as well um, like on the let me make that a little smaller you find that in the option menu here with the tool set down here with the um, x y auto assign because here you can define if you use that if you if you don't want to use that if you always want to use if you load a preset or initialize uh, um, uh, the hive if you want to use all unused or uh, if you only want to uh, pre-select or, or um, um, put something in there if this unit is not used so I, I normally use all unused because something sometimes it's really interesting to see which standard uh, modulations are given for some presets. So then let's make that a little bigger again, like this, for example. Fifty percent. I think that's that's a good start. Okay, so you have the different units. So with the X Y pad on here, you have this um, auto assign all unused, unassign all function. Then you can assign um, according to the settings you choose, like um, something that makes sense in this menu, like um, detune and width. The wavetable position control a and b as i said this uh, was uh, breath and express and a cd uh, midi cc2 and midi cc11 i think yes then um, oscillation mix oscillation panning and oscillation width and those options you have on those different x 
Y pads over here. But you can choose this for yourself. If you, if I just click on unassign all, everything is empty. And um, the second thing that is here is you have you don't have um, options with a right click. You can just use your mouse wheel and select the different um, the different pads on here and uh, you see it changes over here and it changes over here you can select it here as well and this is like a 2d view where you can move all those different dots on this pad around with a mouse or with the controller like i have here for example or with a, um, a xy controller pad for example so Put that no. Okay. So this is the first preview. Like you see here, the plus or the pet plus on here. Then there is a view where you can see all different pets um, right beside each other, and then there is a, a view where you just can see those parameters in in a knob view, for example, where you see X, Y, and then the four different um, pets. With all those pads, you can um, edit the t uh, the label down here or down here. Double click on it. Just use the not this one. Just use the first pad, and there's. This is called Hello World, and you see it down here with this label. And the same goes, for example, if I click down here on the X. Here you see now uh, the X axis is called Hello World, the Y axis is called Thanks, and it is reflected. So if you click on this and, for example, on the second pad, it doesn't change automatically on here, but if you edit, it changes down here and if you are on the um, knob view of this xy patch, uh, um, pads you can click over here and it changes down here so you have easy access to the modulation so what you can do mostly i like this view most um, what you can do now is um, you have the same options like in the uh, matrix it's a target uh, there's a modulation source, sorry, and uh, no, wait, there's at the target, the modulation source is your um, XY pad. Click on that, it should change to the, doesn't change, so I have to change. Ah, okay, I have to click here on edit doesn't change automatically and as well so I use for example uh, this and put it on a on a um, modulation target like um, again um, filter cut off <laughs> it should work like this and I still have a modulation song ongoing so I initialize it again we Hello world, but that's okay. Then we unassign. Wait, go on. unassign all, so everything is empty. And now I assign this on the cutoff and modulate that. Normally, you see the the modulation on here. I don't know uh, what happened right now, but you can modulate it here as well. So if I put that cut up right down and modulate my head over here and the x x axis, I can use the the controller to modulate the filter on here. So and regarding on on the uh, knob you have here and the modulation you are doing, you can do some some nice things. So at the moment this filter is just modulating on the right side of the filter. Of course, if I put it in the middle, the filter is completely closed or nearly completely closed. You can't hear it. 
if I put the cutoff over here, for example, I have a, a little bit a longer way that I can go. There's more fine tuning. So depending what uh, what I'm dialing in here from the modulation and the original parameter, you can use half of the pad or the whole pad, the whole axis with this parameter. Okay. Because sometimes um, you want to use just a, a part of a parameter and that's why you have here four um, possibility, possibilities to modulate targets. So it could be that you um, have a setting of different parameters where you just have something in the middle with a yeah, uh, with your um, timbre uh, and if you put it over here it gets more for example reverb or delay and here it stays on on its uh, original reverb and delay it doesn't change when you go back but when you go back it changes for example the cutoff or something else and the same you can do with the y-axis so at the end you could really have four different um, sounds, timbres, um, that you are able to modulate with your controller, with a mouse or um, with the um, with a, a real XY pad. And this goes for every axis for um, modulation targets because of every par parameter is uh, suited to work with that, but a lot of parameters are. And with the um, um, Y axis as well, so you can go over, um, change that. So um, everything is in, in relationship with each other, and all of those configurations you can do with four different pads. So there are really um, a lot um, modulation possibilities you can choose of and um, you can really go crazy and i would recommend recommend that when you um, that you use um, this um, a setting for xy auto sign or use or if you're not really sure just use this auto sign all unused or try uh, one of those different modulations and there's something um, I didn't figure out how that works, but um, if you choose different settings over here with the um, oscillator one or oscillator two, or um, the oscillator you last touch touched, the um, the definitions are a little bit different. So there's there's something behind it. I don't know. I didn't figure that out, but that's interesting too because you. Um, no, you, you don't always get the same um, result when you touch uh, here this oscillator and this oscillator. Um, if if you know the the scheme, what's behind that, or the preset, or I don't know uh, the the default uh, definition, you can write me in the comments. <laughs> it would be it would be very interesting. I didn't see that in the menu or didn't take time to figure that out because it's it's interesting anyways and sometimes <laughs> it's not always like such a function where you, it's it's not like a random function but it's like uh, if you don't know it exactly it's like a predefined random function like the seeds and, and bitwig um, where you can just click on that and you get a result maybe you didn't expect and that's sometimes something really really great so that's all about um, uh, these modulation monsters, the uh, modulation bar over here, then the matrix A and B over here with its 12 modulation units and um, those uh, each uh, two modulation sources and two modulation targets. And the X, Y modulation pads where you can modulate really the hell out of I have two and uh, this could really uh, be a big fun and uh, yeah uh, 
there are really so many um, possibilities to modulate uh, the synthesizer. It's really, really cool. And um, maybe try out the presets. And the nice part on the presets is, on the, on the preset browser, it's when you put it on uh, this size. And if you go to the presets and you click on the presets, you always see down here the definition of the XY pads over here. So you can choose when you play something, for example, you can just play with it. Or you can go in the XY over here, for example, and play over here. This this goes with every every of those um, um, X Y defined uh, presets, and uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, there are maybe all of them has have a um, X Y setting. At least when you configure, <laughs> I repeat myself, in the settings, this X Y auto assign to all unused or if none, um, I would really recommend that because you get sounds of that so if you like that um, tutorial please subscribe like the tutorial share the videos comment I always like feedback how you like it and uh, maybe if you have some questions I can answer it or we can discuss that come to my discord it's a German speaking discord but um, yeah we are open uh, to <laughs> to help you with uh, even in, in English that's not a real problem but mainly it's a German discord um, server just write me a comment down below the videos because that helps a lot if um, if you comment a lot and um, yeah i hope you stay healthy i hope you soon again and yeah um see you see you ciao ciao